How's it going, guys? This is Christian Hope Average Gamer, and today we have Lethal Company. I don't know much about this game. Just that it's trending now, and people have recommended it. So it seems that it's online only. Okay. And it seems like it's a pretty scary game. So host or join a crew? Can we join a crew? It's not working. Oh well. We'll host. Um, public. Host. Okay. We are here. Music. I like the music. Oh no, that's bad. Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your very own autopilot ship, where you will eat and sleep for the duration of your contract. Make yourself at home. To complete the onboarding process, you will want to check the instruction manual and sign into your ship's computer terminal. We trust you will be a great asset to the company. Great, great asset to the company. Asset. Great, great, great asset to the company. Asset. To the company. Asset. It is very blurry. The graphics are horrible. Okay, E. You're using your echo scanner. The company's patented echo scanner, hereby referred to as a scanner, is an essential tool for employees. Your crewmates may have their own best interests in mind, but the scanner will always be by your side. Press right mouse button to ping the scanner while looking towards objects of interest. If the scanner detects an object, it will return general information such as monetary value, the name, and purpose. The color of the info will indicate other special information. Green. This is very strange. Green, a place or object of interest. Yellow, an object which can be returned to the company as valuable scrap. Red, biological matter, such as wildlife. Use the scanner to find the location of the autopilot ship or other place of interest while outdoors. Signal can reach up to 50 meters outdoors. Okay. It says the echo scanner comes attached with components in the left and right compartments of your helmet. Radiation continually emitted from these devices has been shown to increase risk of cancer and other forms of illness. That's horrible. The company must disclose that this info this info in accordance with uh, Hugh H D H A N Health Act. I don't know, it's very blurry. Okay, the autopilot ship, the terminal on you. As a contractor worker, you have been loaned one of the company's prestigious autopilot vehicles. This is your home base. Additionally, you have access to the terminal which is full of uses. So that's, I guess that's where we're at right now. The ship. Routing to moons. Perhaps the most important use of the terminal is routing to the autopilot. You can fly to any moon included in the autopilot's GPS. However, to transport you to faraway moons, we ask for you, you for some of your company's credits in exchange. The cost per moon is determined by your, our risk and cost benefit analysis department. Okay, so I'm guessing the farther and the more valuable stuff the moon has, the more expensive it is to travel. Tip, in general, safer and closer moons are cheap or even free. Uh, that's what it's talking about. And the risk analysis team recommends sticking to these safe areas for the entire duration of your contract. Okay. Purchasing tools. The terminal gives you access to the company store. You can purchase items in bulk, under 30 pounds. The survival kit is a recommended package of essential for beginners. Item purchases will arrive in a transport vehicle on the surface of whatever moon you choose to land on. Do not miss the delivery. Bestiary. Oh. Pinging wildlife with the echo scanner sends information to our research team. If there's already a fallen record, we will add it to your terminal's bestiary. Returning scrap and selling to the company. While your lengthy contract period may be luxurious, really, it is not a vacation. You are expected to return materials to the company, and in return we will re reward you with company credits. To sell scrap, route to the company building located on 71 Gordion. Warning, when selling scrap to the company, follow procedure exactly. Do not loiter around the counter. Do not prepare all your scrap to place on the counter in bulk. Ding the bell until the company answers the door, and remain quiet. The conversion rate of scrap to credits will fluctuate over the course of several days, so be sure to check with the information on the terminal. Okay, 21. General miscellaneous tips for the job. Use electrical located on the right interior wall of the ship to charge your battery-powered items. 
I'm guessing that's that first thing we were looking at. In order to prevent risk of damage, the autopilot ship will not stay on a moon surface past midnight. Please time your trips carefully with this in consideration. Usually you will not want to stay past evening. What will happen? It is useful to keep a crewmate at home to provide intel, watch over the crew using the ship's advanced radar cams, and access certain remote locked doors. The terminal can broadcast special codes to access secure doors or other equipment remotely. Just type the code, for example, E9. Okay, I guess that's it. How does one take this off my face? Don't know. Okay. So this is that thing that we're talking about, charge tools. There's nothing in here. Huh. Open and close door. What is that screeching sound? So let's start the game. Don't know what we're doing, but we'll figure it out. Ooh, orbiting 41. Deadline. Three days. You're in the access file. Sigurd. Um, are we supposed to have tools or something? Terminal. Favorite animal? Uh, doggo. I guess. Please describe your role in a team dynamic. Uh, clueless. Welcome to the Fortune 9 OS, courtesy of the company. Type help for a list of commands. Help me. Oh, can't type. Store, be sure storage. Let's see storage. No items. Okay. Or walkie talkie. We have no money. We have 60. Flashlight. Confirm. Where does one get the flashlight? Coil. I am so confused. Oh, that's that shit. Flashlight. Oh no! There's... 
that big thing, and there's a thing down there. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I do not have a weapon. Can I go in here? Okay. I really don't like this game. And the graphics are very terrible, but it is very frightening. It is very loud. Oh no. It's very dark. I don't like darkness. It's a good thing I got a flashlight. Ping. Ping. Oh god! Why do you open it so aggressively? Gersh. There's absolutely nothing here. Did my flashlight just... Oh my god, it died. You have to charge your flashlight. Okay. Dustpan. I just want to grab the dustpan. Can we? No. Inspect. Oh, okay, we're here. Okay, there's a big animal right there. New creature data set. Locked. So he can't move. I wonder if this other guy can kill us. Where you at, sir? Don't scare me. Huh. I have no light. I am blind. God, why is it so loud? I cannot see. Oh, that was a door. So we have to scrounge for materials. Which I don't see anything. Empty room. It's a very dark game. Oh! What is that? Oh, I didn't even see you. You're all the way. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Must take a leap of faith. Inventory full. What is that sound? Oh, drop G. Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah, I didn't myself. I panicked. The other pilot will now attempt to fly to the closest space to safe airport. I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we lost all scrap and grade F. No survivors. Enter. <laughs> That's horrible. One casualty. Minus 20%. Oh, so I lost nine. We have to... Do we get a weapon? Let's see, store. A lock pick. A uh, lock picker. Sorry. Stun grenade. Zap gun. Shovel. What do you need a shovel for? An extension ladder. TZP and helmet. Boombox. Get the jam. Ship upgrades. Uh, scroll up, sir. A loud horn, signal translator, teleporter. Goldfish. Now let's get the pro flashlight. Pro flashlight. So we can't defend ourselves. Confirm. 
congratulations. Okay, let's try this again. This is where we charge our stuff. We lost our other flashlight. Oh, it's going horribly bad. Uh, land ship. Dominated by a few species. Okay. Oh, it's terrifying. Oh, we're landing. Hazard level B. Do not know what any of this stuff means. It's 8.05 a.m. Alrighty. Uh, is that ship gonna get here? Or is it stored in here? Storage. No item stored. Side entrances. I do not know. By the way, this game is really hard and really scary. It's because we can't defend ourselves. If we could defend ourselves, it'd be a whole lot easier. We're very loud. Okay, so this is uh, where I died at. These are randomly generated. We're gonna use our stuff more sparingly. Okay. Don't know what that is. Use a ship computer terminal to access secure doors. Okay. Ooh, I don't like this. Probably gonna need to play with other people. Because I am very confused. Hello? Locked. That looks like it has stuff in there. Okay. Was this a place? A jar of pickles. Don't mind if I do. Is that it? Oh, we got a jar of pickles. That's not good. Spider webs. Really big spider webs. Ew. Ah! Oh no, we're gonna die again. We're gonna die again. Ah, no, no. Ah! no, no, no. Ah! Oh my god, that's hard. Oh, that's terrifying. We need help. <laughs> we need help. We need to play with other people and figure out what's going on. Because I'm terribly confused. Because I'm just getting body left and right. But it's alright. We'll go ahead and end it here. And uh, guys, if you know how to play this, you want to help me out, comment down below. Uh, I believe you guys saw my gamer tag for my Steam account. Go ahead and send me a friend request. And we'll go ahead and play for a bit. Alrighty? Alrighty guys, see you in the next one.